Hi everyone, um, it's me. Uh, typically when I do my speeches, I have a audience, but due to some circumstances, that will not be the case. So here I go. Um, my title of my speech is Reusable Bags versus Plastic Bags, and I wanna educate my audience on why plastic bags may not be the best alternative, and I just wanna encourage the use of reusable bags. So here I go. Have you ever um, gone to a store and you get a plastic bag and you put your items in it and when you go outside the bag rips and all of your stuff just like falls out on the road like that's the most frustrating thing next to stubbing your toe at two in the morning it really is um, truth of the matter plastic bags really do suck but there's a deeper reason why plastic bags are not the greatest besides them ripping in the middle of the road we use plastic bags on a regular basis and they are constantly a part of our lives. But there's better alternatives and I want to explore those options with you. Sustainable reusable bags. So I have a couple that I want to include into this. I really love collecting bags. So here we go. So. My first point um, that I would like to share is there's a lot of opinions and perspectives pertaining to reusable bags versus plastic bags. Some people think that reusable bags are um, a harbor for like bacteria, whereas with a plastic bag, you use it one time and you get rid of it. Well, I am going to explore those different options with you and reasons why I think reusable bags are better options. So here we go. Let's start with my first point. There are a lot of incorporated costs to factor in when it comes to plastic bags. So the plastic bag industry, I have a plastic bag right here. This thing right here, this plastic bag employs 1 million Americans each year. It's the eighth largest industry in North America. And plastic bags are simply made of like petroleum based polymers. And how they make them is like they take them and it's gone through a process called blown film extrusion. So I'm pretty sure the heat melts it together and you have a plastic bag. But is that the greatest option? Is that the greatest alternative? The New York Times um, on their website reported that on average, plastic bags are simply about a penny each to make and taxpayers pay over $88 a year on those things. Whereas, for example, a typical paper bag, I have a paper bag right here. This paper bag is three to five cents. Slightly more expensive when it comes to keeping costs low in businesses and the business model trying to maintain your costs. But is it really the best option for the environment? That takes me to my second point. Plastic bags not only affect human health, but they affect the health of animals. Animals are less likely to be able to differentiate, like, let's say a tiny piece of plastic for maybe perhaps a piece of, like, tiny fish in the ocean. They see it, they eat it, they get sick. And unfortunately, if they pass away, their bodies decompose, but that plastic inside of them doesn't really decompose. So it can go on and claim the next victim. According to biologicaldiversity.com, 100,000 marine animals are killed each year due to plastic pollution. And like I said, if they don't get help from like someone who goes along and rescues animals in the ocean, they just die and their bodies decompose and the plastic is still in the ocean. That makes me go to my third and final point. Plastic takes a long time to decompose. If anything, it takes a literal eternity. It's not sustainable. According to dumpsters.com, it takes 1,000 years for one plastic bag to truly decompose. Because like I said earlier in my presentation, it's a polymer that is petroleum based. So it's like gasoline, obviously, and it takes a very long time for it to decompose. Then according to bagtheban.com, Americans use their bags again at least once. So typically I take my plastic bags and like all of the other 90% of Americans in, you know, America, I put mine in a tiny tin and I use it for my sewing trash. But after that, I throw it away. 
I don't dump out my sewing trash and use that bag again. I throw it away. Whereas, for example, with this plastic, like, this reusable bag, I take it, I use it, and if I'm done, I take, like, a disinfectant wipe and I clean it and I use it again. And it doesn't rip in the middle of the street. So, plastic bags, or bags, whether they're plastic, paper, or cotton, have to be reused multiple times to really get its true sustainability out of them. So a plastic bag, for example, has to be used about 31 times, whereas this reusable bag has to be used over 151 times. In order to truly get its intended use, the better the product, less plastic, more life. So now I will transition to my conclusion. I have given you a few points um, why I think plastic bags are not the best option when it comes to keeping the environment. We use our plastic bags in our daily lives, whether we go to the grocery store or just a local shop around the corner, but there's always a better alternative than plastic bags. And like I said, it is reusable bags. They come in great sizes, shapes, colors, everything. And they're great for the environment. The three points that I made during the speech was the costs, the wildlife, and the decompose decomposition process, decomposition process of our plastic bags. Um, plastic bags, they do have an effect on the environment and it's just a bigger picture in general than just what we see on the surface. So the next time you wanna to go to the supermarket, make sure you get your reusable bag and why not? Because who would want their items to spill out in the street anyway? Thank you.